Hey guys, we are continuing solving problems from Hilary Resnick Walker, Chapter 21, Edition 8. This time we are solving problem number 32. I'll read out the question. In figure particles 1 and 2 are fixed in place. In figure particles 1 and 2 are fixed in place on an x axis at a separation L equal to 8 centimeters. So this is 8 centimeters here. Uh, their charges are q1 equal plus e, q2 equal to minus 27e. Particle 3 uh, with charge q3 equal to plus 4e is to be placed on the line between particles 1 and 2 uh, so, that, uh, so that they produce a net electrostatic force F3 net on it. Uh, part A. At what coordinate should particle 3 be placed to minimize the magnitude of that force? What is that, uh, what is that minimum magnitude? Okay. So, we are given two particles, particle 1 and 2 with charges. They are written there. Charges are given. They are fixed in place. Particle 1 is at the origin and particle 2 is at 8 centimeters. This L is given to be 8 centimeters. Okay, uh, so particle 1 is at x equal to 0, particle 2 is at x equal to 8 centimeters. Now we have to uh, place one more particle, uh, Q3 of charge plus 4E, in between the two charges. And we have to find a place for it, find its position, such that Q3 experiences minimum force. Okay, so we have to find a location for Q3 in between the two particles. So that force on Q3, net force on Q3 is minimum, okay, is minimum. So, uh, and then we have to find out that minimum uh, force. Q3, let's place it somewhere here. Q3. Now remember, uh, 1 is positive and 2 is negative. 1 is positive and 2 is negative. 3 is also positive. 3 is also positive. So 1 is going to repel 3. So force is going to be this way. F3 1 and 2 will attract 3. 3 is positive and 2 is negative. So 2 will attract it. So it will be in the same direction F3 2. Now there is one important point here that we learn. Uh, two forces are in same direction. So they will add up. They will add up. So minimum force can never be 0 in between the two particles because two forces are uh, in the same direction. For getting zero, we need to have two forces of equal magnitude, but in opposite directions. Opposite, di they are not in opposite directions. So net force cannot be zero. Okay, net force cannot be zero. Number one. Number two. When you place Q3 very close to one, force on it will be infinite, huge. And when you place Q3 very close, extremely close to two, then force is again going to be huge. Okay. Both forces are in positive directions. F31 is in positive direction. F32 is in positive direction. Now I want to show you something. I want to draw net force on 3 versus x. Versus x. This is 0. And somewhere here, let's take this as 8 centimeters, which is L, basically. Like this. Now, uh, when x tends to 0, that means when q3 is extremely close to 1, extremely close to 1, then f3 1 will be huge. It will tend to infinity because distance is almost 0. This force will tend to infinity. So whatever the value of this force, it will become negligible. So net force will be just f3 1. So net force on 3 is just f3 1. When x is tending to 0, okay, when x is tending to 0, and that force is in the positive direction, okay, that force is in the positive direction, so we are having curve will be something like this, it will come from uh, infinity, okay, okay, it will come from infinity, now as we move it away from 1, obviously it is going to decrease, because it was infinity, it was huge, it is going to decrease now, and then when Q3 is extremely close to second particle, meaning as X tends to 8 centimeters, then what will happen is uh, F3 2 will become huge. 
f3 2 will be tend to infinity this force will become negligible and that force is again you can see in the positive direction so when q3 is very close to 8 when position is very close to 8 force is going to be infinity in the positive direction so when uh, q3 is very close to 1 force is infinity in the positive direction tending to infinity in the positive direction uh, when q3 is very close to 2 q uh, uh, net force on 3 is again in the positive direction and very huge the only way now this is a rough sketch the force graph is going to be like this remember it will never become zero it will never become zero because two forces are in same directions they'll add up for becoming zero you need to have forces in opposite directions with same magnitudes Okay, so that is never going to happen. So somewhere, somewhere there is this minimum force. At some value of x, we have this minimum force. Now note one thing, why did I uh, go through this trouble? In between the two particles, force is minimum. It does not become maximum anywhere. Suppose uh, uh, the force varied like this. Then we had a minimum and we had a maximum, uh, which would create trouble for us mathematically. Then we'll have to go for double differentiation. Okay, this way there is only one possibility that force is minimum. So what will happen? Slope is going to be zero here, and if slope is zero, that means df net three divided by dx is equal to zero. Had it been like this, then we would have slope zero at two places. So df by dx would be equal to zero at two places. So we'll get two possible values of x. Then we'll have to find out, figure out uh, for what value of x force is uh, minimum and for what value of x force is maximum. That would have been uh, troublesome. That would have been length here. So uh, luckily here, there's only one option that force is minimum somewhere. So we'll just go with single derivation, single uh, derivative of force and equ equate it to zero. Okay, now, uh, in order to find the location of particle 3 for which force is minimum, let's call that distance x, position x, we'll have to differentiate force with respect to x and then equate it to 0. So if this is x, then this is going to be L minus x, L minus x. So uh, first I'll write down force on particle 3, net force on particle 3. Net force on particle 3 is F31 uh, plus F32. Addition of the two forces. Now F31 is gamma Q3, Q1 divided by X square. 3 and 1 are separated by X now. We call that X. And the 2 and 3 are separated by L minus X. So this is gamma Q3, Q2 divided by L minus X squared. Now we'll differentiate this equation and equate that to zero. Okay, equate that to zero. Okay, so this is our equation. Let's call this equation one. Now let's differentiate it and it equate it to zero to find the minimum value of that force, to find the value of x for which force is minimum. So now df net 3 divided by dx is equal to 0 for minimum force. Okay, for minimum force. So we have to differentiate this thing. So this is d by dx of, uh, I'll take gamma and q3 common. It is in the both, in both terms. Gamma q3. Differentiation of q1 will remain as it is. Differentiation of 1 by x square, I'll take x square upstairs, it will become x to the power minus 2. Okay, so gamma q3 I have taken out, q1 is constant again, it will remain as it is. Differentiation of x to the power minus 2, I'm taking it up, it will become x to the power minus 2. Plus, gamma 3 is already out, q2 will keep as it is. Then differentiation of L minus x square, but it is in the denominator, we'll take it upstairs, it will become x minus x power minus 2. And this thing is equal to 0. Okay, this thing is equal to 0. So this implies 
Now gamma Q3, I'll shift to other side, 0 will eat it up. So what are we left with? Q1. I'll substitute the value of Q1 now. Q1 is E and uh, Q2 is 27E. We just have to take the magnitudes of Q1 and Q2. Uh, because of the minus sign, it was the minus sign of Q2 because of which force was attracted to. And we have already taken that care of that, the sign, direction of that. So minus gives the force direction. We have already taken care of that. We'll only use the magnitudes. Uh, Q1 is E and Q2 is 27E. E and 27. So this one is just E. Differentiation is minus 2 x to the power minus 3 and x to the power n minus 1. Uh, this one is 27e. 27e. Then here uh, again differentiation by chain rule. Differentiation by chain rule. This will become minus 2 l minus x to the power minus 3 and x to the power n minus 1. Then internal differentiation, differentiation of L is 0, so no need to write that. Differentiation of X is 1, but with this minus sign, so minus 1 is equal to 0, okay. Again, I'll take E common and this uh, 2 common, 2 is here, 2 is here. So this implies 2E times. Now minus is here, 1 by x to the power 3, x to the power minus 3, I'm taking downstairs. Minus, minus is plus, 27 is still there, e we have taken out, this 2 we have taken out, so uh, uh, we're left with the l minus x power minus 3, just this part, no plus 3, we're, I'm taking it downstairs, so minus will go. Rest everything has been taken. Uh, e is taken out. So E is taken care of. 2 is taken out. 2 is taken care of. 27 is here. L minus X to the power minus 3. I have taken downstairs. So this is already taken care of. Minus minus is plus. This is taken care of. This is equal to 0. Now we'll shift this thing to this side. 0 will eat it up. We're left with the minus 1 by X cube plus 27 by L minus X cube is equal to 0. Okay. So this implies, I'll shift this one to here, it's negative, it will become positive. So 1 by X cube is equal to 27 divided by L minus X cube. Okay. So this implies, L minus X cube, I'll take here upstairs. L minus X cube divided by X cube, cube I'll take common, is equal to 27. We're almost done. Let's divide uh, both these separately by X. This one, first one will become X divide, L divided by X. Now minus X by X is 1. Let's shift cube to this side. Cube root of 27 is 3. Okay, 3 into 3 is 9, 9 into 3 is 27. So this implies L minus X is equal to 1 to this side. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Or X upstairs, 4 downstairs, L divided by 4. Now L is 8 centimeters. L is 8 centimeters. So that would mean X is equal to x is equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2 centimeters, okay, centimeters, L is in centimeters, so x is also in centimeters. So at a position of 2 centimeters, if we place particle 3 at a position of 2 centimeters, it will experience minimum force, okay, it will experience minimum force at this position of 2 centimeters, at this position of 2 centimeters. Now in part B, we have to find out that minimum force, okay, we have to find out that minimum force. Now we know that at x equal to 2 centimeters force is minimum. So what we will do is, we will use x equal to 2 centimeters here in equation 1. Uh, as we know, x at x equal to 2 centimeters force is minimum. So if we substitute x equal to 2 centimeters, we will get that minimum force. So we need to substitute x equal to 2 centimeters. Remember L is 8, so L minus x is uh, 6 centimeters. So this one is uh, 2 centimeters, this one here is 8 centimeters. So uh, let's do that now. 
minimum force F minimum remember this is minimum force on 3 okay minimum force on 3 is equal we have gamma q3 q1 divided by x squared I'll first rewrite this equation gamma q3 q1 divided by x squared no then we have gamma q3 q2 divided by l minus x whole squared plus gamma q3 q2 divided by l minus x whole squared now let's substitute the values again remember we need to substitute only values of the charges gamma q3 gamma q3 gamma q3 i'll take common and simultaneously substitute the values gamma is 9 into 10 to the power 9 q3 is uh, q3 is 4e so 4e so gamma q3 is out and then we have q1 here remember only the magnitude of q1 q1 is e q1 is e divided by x squared x is 2 centimeters okay 2 centimeters so 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters with the square plus q2 only the magnitude of q2 27 e 27 e divided by l minus x is 6 8 minus 2 is 6 6 centimeters so 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters with this square there So this is equal to uh, 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 4. Now this e, this e, I'll take common. So we have already 1 e this, so it will become e squared and I'll substitute the values. 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 with the square. Okay, this e comes out. We're left with 1 divided by 2 square is 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 minus 2 minus uh, plus 2 plus 27 divided by now 6 square is 36 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 2 is 4 minus 4 so here it is now uh, we need to work out this thing i have already done that i'll directly write down the value f minimum on 3 minimum force on particle 3 is uh, 9.2 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 24 newtons 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 24 newtons this is that minimum force so particle 3 experiences minimum force at 2 centimeter position and that minimum force is 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 24 newtons okay